Hello, my name is Helen and I'm a food blogger. Um, today I'm going to make some salt fish fritters with a uh, sweet corn salsa. Okay, so I did um, salt fish fritters today because uh, I'm living in Peckham and um, I, when I moved to Peckham I really kind of found like the focus of the blog because it's just a place that really interests me, it really excites me because <clears throat> often when I came from um, Oxford, which is where I lived before, everyone was kind of like white, middle class, you know, it was just all a bit boring and then I moved to Peckham and it, everyone's different, you know, there's such a mix of people here. If you walk down Peckham Rye, it's kind of really alive. The music, there's like music pumping out from all the shops, and I was thinking, this is amazing. All these like weird, strange ingredients that I'd never seen before, or, and I just got really into the food. Like it's just so colourful down there, like mounds of like Scotch bonnet chilies, like rainbow colours, and you know it's all really spicy and really vibrant. So I wanted to do something around that and that's why I chose the saltfish fritters because they're quite sort of it's like quite informal as well quite relaxed and chilled out I wanted to do some sort of like finger food that's quite snacky um, and I just I just find it all really exciting so that's why I chose the saltfish fritters and I've made them before but um, when we were eating them before we were like oh this would be really good with the, like a sweet corn salsa like something sweet to offset the saltiness of the fritters um, and yeah so this was a good opportunity to try it out really so I hope you liked it so I started the blog um, about two years ago now and I, I hadn't been in London very long I've been here maybe a year and I just realised that I was just becoming really fanatical about food and I wanted to kind of connect with people that not just were just interested in cooking a little bit, I wanted to connect with people that felt the same way as, as I do. It's also a good really, um, like a record of places for me to keep my recipes and then other people join in and go, oh, why don't you try this and why don't you do this and then I develop the recipe and kind of improve it or take things out, add things in and um, yeah, you, you get inspired by other people's suggestions. So. Yeah, that's, that's the, the main sort of reasons that I started it, I think.